Thank you for visiting Litson RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you the complete walkthrough video experience for the Winnebago Revel, now equipped with 30% more lithionics capacity than previous years. The Mercedes-Benz powered 4x4 Revel opens up a world of possibilities available here at Litson RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and named by the manufacturer Winnebago Industries as the single point largest volume dealer of all Winnebago motorhomes across all of North America each year consecutively since 2015. Also, our team has earned the number two Class B Camper Van Dealer Award for nationwide sales volume across all manufacturers and all camper van models, including competitors for 2021, while offering only the Winnebago camper van lineup. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter investment in accordance with the way Mercedes-Benz outlines on page 107 of their owner's manual, in which they recommend, if possible, no towing during the first thousand miles, driving at varying road and engine speeds, shifting to the next highest gear at the very latest when the needle reaches the last third before the red area in the tack, avoiding stress on the vehicle such as driving at full throttle, not shifting manually to lower gear to brake, and after the first thousand miles, gradually increasing the engine speed and accelerating the vehicle up to full speed. Be the first to break in that new Mercedes investment. Sleep that first night in your powered gear garage with powered studio loft bed and eat that first meal in your factory fresh revel available here at Litson RV. Now equipped with nearly 30% larger lithium capacity than previous years, the safety and performance of the Mercedes-Benz VS30, the true 4x4 Revel, opens up a world of possibilities with off-the-grid capabilities and complete four-season comfort in the camper van life revolution. The Winnebago Revel is powered by the third-generation innovative fuel-efficient Mercedes-Benz chassis with interior aesthetic upgrades similar to what is in the luxurious Mercedes S-Class. It features the 3-liter six-cylinder turbo diesel platform boasting 325 pounds-feet of torque or power, which is then mated up with the 7-speed automatic 7G Tronic Plus transmission with grade braking capabilities the on-demand four-wheel drive with low range to selectively stop individual wheels if wheel spin is detected. Bringing through the on-demand four-wheel drive system, it can safely be driven on dry pavement without the risk of damaging differential locks. Not only does this include the aesthetic upgrade similar to the luxurious Mercedes S-Class, it also features the latest in safety enhancements from Mercedes-Benz. The first critical safety enhancement to the all new third generation BS30 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis is active brake assist. In the event that the system, which uses a combination of radar and camera technology senses a visual obstruction ahead, the first the driver will be alerted to a visual and acoustic warning. Once the driver then applies the brakes, active brake assist applies the most effective brake pressure and if too weak will engage autonomous braking capabilities. It also is the only system that can recognize and is designed to brake for pedestrians in the way. Active lane keeping assist will sense if you seem to be unintentionally changing lanes in a range of situations even in slight bends. Mercedes gives you a helpful audio and visual warning and then applies brake pressure to help you get back in the lane. Targeted intervention of the ESP systems and brake systems gently bring you back to your intended path. Adaptive or active cruise control as we know here in North America or as Mercedes terms active distance assist distronic regulates the speed of your RV for you and automatically helps you maintain the distance to a vehicle detected in front of you. 
If you are approaching a vehicle in front of you, Distronic Cruise Control will slow your RV automatically, and as that vehicle vacates or speeds up, will accelerate up to your desired cruise control level. You can increase or decrease the following distance in the vehicle setup settings, or turn this feature off altogether. Traffic Sign Assist will help identify the right speed and alert you to let you know if traffic laws have changed. General GPS navigation and camera technology allow you to know when traffic laws change to alert you and keep you compliant. Traffic signs are also noted in the navigation screen in the MBUX setup. Blind Spot and Rear Cross Traffic Alert detects approaching vehicles in your blind spot and alerts you, keeping you safer. And Rear Cross Traffic Alerts let you know when a vehicle or pedestrian is crossing behind you. Rear View Camera with Ultrasonic Rear Park Assist provides gradient ability to see the area behind you as you navigate in reverse and visual markings alert the RVer before approaching an object with several different distant alert increments. LED high performance headlamps provide improved illumination that maximizes the view of the road ahead while further enhancing the RV's overall aesthetic and sleek front end design. Adaptive high beam assist enhanced safety in the dark. The system makes driving in the dark safer and helps to reduce the strain on the driver. Adaptive high beam assist always makes the best possible headlamp range available while avoiding dazzling oncoming traffic. The driver barely needs to make use of the high beam switch and is able to concentrate better when driving in the dark. Adaptive high beam assist uses continuous input from a camera to automatically vary the range of the high beam headlamps based on the distance to oncoming vehicles and any vehicles traveling ahead of you. Mercedes-Benz's wet wiper system provides clean lines of sight if you have to wash your windshield as you drive. Traditional spray nozzles are replaced by tiny laser cut holes along the wiper arm that spray the fluid directly in front of the wipers as they sweep in either direction. Fluid consumption is reduced by over 50%, the system is heated in cold weather terrain, and the windshield is cleansed much more effectively by the wet wiper system. Attention Assist monitors your driving patterns for signs of fatigue and gives you an early warning to make sure you're not driving drowsy. If it detects fatigue or lapses in concentration on behalf of the driver, it suggests you take a break with an audible and visual warning. You simply confirm acknowledgement in the MBUX system and this feature can be turned on or off in vehicle settings. Not only as safety is the cornerstone of the all-new Sprinter, we've also now included interior aesthetic upgrades similar to that of the Mercedes S-Class Luxury Auto, including Artico leather cab seats that do feature all three sets of safety enhancements, tilt and telescoping steering with a complete array of steering wheel controls for the all-new infotainment center, making trips more enjoyable with the Sprinter's multitude of sophisticated MBUX infotainment features. Just above this location, you'll see we've also then included wireless charging for your smartphone or tablet. Inside this compartment, we also then have USB-C controls to be able to connect for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, should you choose to use that. Although we do have here the 10.25 inch MBUX infotainment center that features hands-free calling but also hands-free voice guidance currently connected via Bluetooth you'll see complete control of your smartphone or tablet allowing us to make hands-free calls using voice guidance and hey Mercedes artificial intelligence we have complete navigation controls that is available through voice guidance. 
This will then also then tie into the traffic sign assist. Each of these apps are then also movable within the infotainment center. So if you'd like a certain array of apps, we can customize that by pressing and holding this. This is a capacitive touchscreen monitor that functions and swipes just like an iPad or Android tablet. And it's also controllable from the smart wheel controls. Sliding over then, of course, we have high definition FM radio. AM radio and Sirius XM satellite radio that does include a free trial subscription. This can also function off of your smartphone or tablet. Controls for playing media that would reside on your smartphone or tablet, either via Bluetooth or from USB connectivity. A great feature here with info settings within the engine that provides consumption levels, DEF levels, torque curve measurements. Here's a great preview there of that rear view camera monitoring system. You can see the carbon fiber instrument panel applique setup that encases the dash and the side panels. Here as we start the engine you can see RPM levels as well as torque curve levels. That second section then also provides consumption levels for fuel consumption and other fluids. But also on board is a complete digital operator's manual for the Mercedes-Benz VS30 chassis. Of course, not only do you have the capacitive touchscreen controls, but hard controls down below. Great way to search, find tips, bookmark certain areas if you'd like to go back to them. We do have Mercedes Pro technology in which we can enable this for 4G LTE, although for the RV lifestyle, Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity enhancements will be more cost effective. Here you'll find the vehicle settings screen with quick access for the ESP superior ride and technology handling. Also controls for lane keep assist, rear park assist, and then also assistance within different types of the safety enhancements that we just talked about to be able to display in certain locations, turn on or off. You'll see controls for the active brake assist. The availability for the blind spot assist. You saw earlier the attention assist. You can see controls for the active lane keep assist. And as we move on to the vehicle settings, you'll see different Programmable settings are available for the cab chassis itself, lighting controls, and then overall system vehicle setting preferences. Again, all of this is controllable through the capacitive touchscreen monitor, but also on the smart wheel steering wheel controls. We also have hard buttons then down below. And then this is how you can actually configure and adjust which favorites you'd like to show up first on that 10.25 inch touchscreen monitor. Then down below we have true automatic climate control located mid console with an array of cup holders and a great array of luxury aesthetic upgrades for the interior of the all new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. You'll see we've ordered this factory fresh Winnebago Revel in the selenite high metallic premium full body base coat clear coat automotive finish in which we'll complete this entire walkthrough video experience for you. We also stock and do carry the pebble gray exterior full body premium automotive paint package from Mercedes Benz which is a matte colored pebble gray. 
And finally, we do also stock this in the blue gray matte finish, which is again, a premium automotive base coat clear coat package from Mercedes Benz. You'll see the high performance LED front headlamp, as well as the ultrasonic front sensors. As we work towards the rear, you'll also see the rear ultrasonic park sensors. Sliding around towards the driver's side, you'll see the cornering fog lamps, as well as a sneak preview to the factory installed upgrade of the performance wheel and tire package. Again, this is the Selenite high metallic premium automotive base coat clear coat finish. It's also available in the pebble and blue gray matte finishes. A nimble coach at only 19 feet, seven inches in length. It is on the upgraded 9,050 pound gross vehicle weight rating chassis. So it includes nearly 1800 pounds of occupant and cargo carrying capacity from which then you would reduce any occupants, cargo that you may travel with, as well as any fresh water on board. Here towards the driver's side, you'll also see the safety enhancements of integrated turn signals towards each mirror, as well as the top two thirds of these mirrors being powered and heated. The lower one third, including the convex parabolic wide angle technology, of course, passive entry with keyless entry. Down below, this is the factory installed upgrade of the performance wheel package with BF Goodrich TAKO2 all-terrain tires at 17 inches, featuring a longer tread life in dry pavement conditions with aggressive all-terrain traction, perfect for gravel, rocky, and snowy conditions. Method 701 wheels include bead grip technology to seat the bead while running with lower air pressures, a reinforced inner lip, and all are one piece cast 356 aluminum with T6 heat treatment. Standard towards the rear that we'll see here in a moment is the standard 16 inch steel wheel as a spare tire from Mercedes Benz, although we can upgrade that to be a matching 17 inch wheel. Here you'll see the integrated Winnebago side assist steps with secure tie outs for high end bicycles or pets. Wonderful illumination with undercarriage lighting. Be sure to check out in our video library and still photo package within the internet listings page just how much illumination this provides for returning to your vehicle in the black of night. You'll see the exhaust off towards the driver's side for the hydronic heating and hot water delivery system which fires off of the diesel burner or off of the electrical element if being plugged in but a very fuel efficient Timberline hydronic heating system runs off of the top three quarters of the 24.5 gallon fuel capacity for the Revel. You'll also see all the components added by Winnebago with respect to metal that's being added is e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology. For over 30 years, Winnebago has led the industry voluntarily in rust protection with the e-coat process after undergoing a $7 million infrastructure upgrade using the eco process to electronically plate for a uniform anti-corrosion process. Here you'll see the drainage for the 21 gallon gray tank capacity. The Revel features 21 gallons of freshwater capacity and also a five gallon black tank cassette system. Here behind the locking access door is the cassette black tank system enclosed within the van for extended season use. This can very simply be removed. If you do have a challenge because this could be 40 pounds in weight if full, we do have a nice accessory which is the Americanizer which allows us to connect to a standard sewer hose. But when traveling, this can very simply be maneuvered to any type of a septic system, a national park holding pit, it can actually even be brought into an over the road truck stop to be drained inside a standard residential style toilet. It also includes a roller mechanism with an easy extending handle to be able to maneuver the black tank. 
So some great flexibility, but also extends the four season comfort being enclosed with inside the van. Of course, all of the water lines inside the van are utilized with Winnebago's PEX residential quality tubing with quick disconnect and compression connectors at key locations. Using a manifold system that we'll showcase here in a moment, it reduces connections and reduces the possibility of leaks 75%. Here you'll see the 30 amp detachable shoreline cord from Warden Bean plugged in. It is sized to power all of the electrical appliances inside the rubble simultaneously without throwing a breaker. Of course, we'll also showcase all of the lithium technology with the 2000 watt whole van inverter. Here you'll see the fiberglass outsets that Winnebago adds as well as the dual pane acrylic windows with the Euro style cassette shade system, a convenient LED courtesy light towards the driver's side so that if you are connecting in the middle of the night or draining in the middle of the night, you have great LED access. Up top, you'll also see the all new all metal Summit cargo rack system as well as a movable detachable three-point ladder that can be accessed throughout the sides of the van. That ladder then also includes a lock for security. And now as we zoom back, you can see the high metallic profile of the Selenite Premium Automotive Base Coat Clear Coat Finish. Again, we do also stock that in the Pebble Gray or the Blue Gray. Also, you'll see up top a sneak preview to the factory installed option upgrade of the Coleman Mach 10 non-ducted quiet high efficiency air conditioning system that does power off of the single Lithionics UL 1973 battery that we'll cover here in a moment, which is expandable to double its capacity. To the rear, the cargo doors provide keyless entry, but also nearly 270 degree swivel to access every square inch of cargo inside the gear garage. Down below, you'll see a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package. You can see the LED tail lamps as well as the high mount LED braking lamp as well as several of the cameras for the rear view camera monitoring system. As we glide down the rear of the van again that is a detachable movable ladder that can be accessed on all three points of the van with the Summit cargo carrying system. We'll jump up atop the roof of the van here in a moment. Some great opportunities to add a matching 17 inch performance wheel and method accessory for the spare tire. We can actually do that in several different hinge mounted carriers. There you'll see the lock for the Summit ladder and also the ultrasonic rear park sensors down below. You can see the powder coat to the Summit roof rack and ladder system. Again, down below a 5,000 pound factory installed tow package with a seven blade bargeman wiring harness. Underneath is the standard Mercedes-Benz steel wheel, which again, this is gonna be a 16 inch steel wheel Many of our revelers will then upgrade to the matching 17 inch wheel, which we can do here as an installed accessory. There you can see the rear differential again for the on demand four wheel drive system that does include low range to selectively stop individual wheels if spin is detected. You can see the white lettering for those wheels are turned inwards to provide that matte black finish with the Method 701 wheels. And now as we open up the cargo doors, again, opening nearly 270 degrees to provide access to the gear garage. This now provides also the honeycomb industrial style non-slip flooring that also includes additional insulation for and thermal brake for the van. 
can see all of the metal again e-coated in the latest in e-coat technology from Winnebago's e-coat facility. Surrounding the rear of the van then is the Roleff rear screen system, which provides wonderful fresh air ventilation out of the rear of the van. It also features a matching side screen that we'll cover as we get towards the patio side of the Revel. Housed inside the driver's side rear wheel well then behind that facade is the Lithionics UL1973 certified 320 amp hour battery providing 4,133 watt hours. We can also double that by adding a second Lithionics battery then providing 8,266 watt hours of lithium technology which will power the air conditioner as well as the portable induction cooktop which we'll cover as we get inside the van. Towards the rear, this is the roll lift screen system towards the rear. It very simply rolls up and then snaps into place to provide quiet performance driving down the road, but when extended then provides ex excellent fresh air ventilation, but also ease of entering and exiting the van. Again, this is a true roll of screen system with the magnetic latch so you can quickly enter and exit the van without having insects penetrating the van. And now we'll break away to showcase Reed Burkholder, one of our Revel experts here at Litson RV with our factory trained professionals. Very simply rolls down, provides opaque privacy in the evening. As we zipper this closed, you can also extend that open then for excellent fresh air ventilation very simply zippers down and then again you have that magnetic quick catch to quickly enter or exit the van but those opaque panels then open up to provide incredible fresh air ventilation. Working our way back now inside the gear garage this is the Nautilus freshwater manifold system. It provides easy color coded valve locations whether you're reveling off the grid in dry camping mode if you're power filling the tank, if you'd like to winterize the van, or if you'd like to sanitize the freshwater tank. It also includes an exterior shower with hot and cold water, the hot water being heated off of the hydronic heating system. Again, that provides fuel off of the fuel tank or if plugged in off of the electrical element. It also includes a quick connect coiled hose for that exterior shower a redundant 12 volt on-demand water pump switch. If you forgot to turn your water pump on, you can throw it on from outside the van so you don't have to trounce through to turn that switch on. And also a dedicated city water input. Again, this Nautilus freshwater manifold system works in conjunction with the PEX plumbing to reduce any types of leaks. Inside the gear garage, then you'll see several different tie down capabilities. Here you'll see several of the accessories that ship with the van. And off to the left, then you'll see the master turn off to disconnect the battery system. You'll want to leave this on when being utilized so that it does utilize the inverter converter to charge that Lithionix 320 amp hour battery or the second battery if we install one for you. Here you'll see towards the rear of the van a 12 volt power point to recharge 12 volt appliances, a switch for the exterior lighting, and then also the capability to extend and maximize the solar capabilities rooftop to the van by using portable solar panels. There you'll see the coiled hose that uses the quick connect for the exterior wash station, which does include hot and cold water. Some nice enhancements which were made last year to the gear garage. It maintains the power drop down bed, but now also includes LED lighting with under the bed storage bags. And now unlike any dealership here in North America, we're gonna elevate up to show you all of the quality components atop the Winnebago Revel. A nice sneak preview there to the Colorado Carefree powered patio awning, which does also include the quick
quicker motor drive with motion sensor so that if high winds approach the Rebel, it will quickly retract. It also includes some great Bluetooth connectivity within the Colorado Carefree app. And now as we zoom in to the Rebel, we'll work our way from the rear to the front as we zoom in here. Again, the ladder is attachable to any of those rails alongside the Summit roof rack system. Just forward of that ladder then is the factory installed option upgrade of the Coleman Mach 10 non-ducted quiet air conditioning system that does power off of the 2000 watt whole coach inverter which then is actually powered by the standard Lithionics UL 1973 safety certified 320 amp hour battery with 4,133 watt hours. Housed inside the van driver side wheel well with easy access. We can expand that to a second Litson RV installed Lithionics battery. We are an approved Lithionics factory dealer that we can install that second battery. The lithium system is recharged with a second under the hood alternator to fully recharge in less than two hours of travel time. It's also recharged anytime that you're plugged in, but also off of the standard solar that you can see here rooftop to the Rebel. In between those two solar panels is a Max Air premium vent system, which provides a tremendous amount of CFM or air movement through the roll of side screen system. Also, you'll see the roof wiring port to the left of the Max Air Premiums vent system. A great opportunity for connectivity enhancements such as Wi Fi or cellular boosting. That could be a Wii Boost for cellular boosting or a Wineguard Connect, which provides a dedicated internet network off of Wi Fi boosting or off of adding a SIM card to your existing cellular provider. Also forward to that, you'll also see the Sirius XM satellite radio antenna. Be sure to check out on our parts page on Litson.com as several archive videos and an interactive multimedia connectivity enhancement finder tool which will pinpoint which of those connectivity enhancements is right for you. And now as we wrap up atop the roof of the Rebel, let's cover some specifications. It is 19 feet 7 inches in length, 7 feet 1 inch in width, and a 10 feet standard height to the top of the air conditioner. As we work back down towards the patio level then, we do have now the Colorado Carefree powered patio awning extended. This is a nine and one half foot powered patio awning for the Rebel. And again, provides Bluetooth connectivity to extend, to turn on the LED lights, to dim the lights. And while away, it does have the motion sensor with the faster gear drive motor to quickly retract. Opening up the cargo door to the Rebel, then you'll see the second roll of screen system, but also an innovative outdoor table. Down below here, we'll also cover the patio side components to the assist steps with great undercarriage lighting for safely returning to your van in the middle of the night. Be sure to check out those pictures in our internet listings page for the Rebel in which we black out our studio just to showcase how luminous this is. It does then also include the bicycle and pet tie-out security system, both front and rearward. And it is e-coated then in the latest in e-coat technology from Winnebago Industries. A 10-stage process to include uniform plating of all exposed metals installed by Winnebago Industries. Now sliding over an innovative new table that was added last year. This outdoor camping table can be maneuvered at different heights based on how level the van is. Up top here you'll see the second roll of screen system now you can see the insect screens there that provide protection. Again, that very simply rolls up and clips into place so it is silent driving down the road. But when rolled down and zippered on each side, it does include that magnetic catch to quickly enter or exit the van. Inside here, you'll also see a Ram Tough Track mount and easy to access entry handle.
the outdoor table very simply unclips, it drops down and then you can adjust the elevation so that if you're not perfectly level, that table will then open up and down based on the height in which you select the D-ring inside the L-Track system. Very simply opening each of these, we can do this with one hand, it very simply glides down and then you can adjust the height depending upon how level or unlevel the van is. A high endurance laminate drop down table made out of that sealed marine plywood. Same type of teak matting system you'll see inside the oversized bath and one for the Revel resisting moisture. Again, keyless entry for all of the cargo doors. Down below then you'll see several different valves for draining the freshwater system. And now as we zoom out, another factory installed option that we have selected and we do on most of our Revels is the graphics delete to provide an automotive stealth style look. Working up now again, this is the Colorado Carefree Awning, nine and a half feet in terms of depth from the front to the rear of the van, but just some great extension of how much coverage you have for the van. It is armless in nature, so you're not gonna have any head knockers, but again, through the Bluetooth app, you can turn those lights on or off, dim the lights, and also extend or retract the awning. And again, this is the exterior graphics delete package for a more stealth look. And now as we work inside the Winnebago Revel, you'll see we've ordered this coach factory fresh in the intrepid interior. This is paired up with Silver Springs cabinetry. Handcrafted by Winnebago Industries here in Four City, which provides two advantages for you. First of all, creating that cabinetry in-house minimizes tolerances in fit, which will minimize rattles traveling down the road compared to competing manufacturers that continue to purchase their cabinetry from third-party suppliers. It also allows this Winnebago to maximize interior cargo space using computer-aided design. A great floor plan with the powered lift bed that you saw behind inside the gear garage, an automotive style front bench seat, and then also each of the front seats from Mercedes-Benz rotate to become integral living components to the van. And now we'll cover each of the main living areas in more detail. Again, this is the Intrepid interior. It's paired up with Silver Springs cabinetry. Another option is to do pewter cabinetry, which is a lighter solid color compared to the Silver Springs with its design can hide nicks and dings as you travel Overland style within the van life lifestyle. Working our way here towards the driver's side, you'll see the bench seat, which includes automotive style safety belts and a lagoon style mount table. With each of the windows, these are dual pane sights acrylic windows with Euro cassette style shade systems. Here you'll see each of the cabinets as we elevate this up with the slam latch technology. Positive lock latching to keep these cabinets closed during the travel portion of maneuvering from destination. As we open this up again, positive lock latching, but inside you can see just how much access there is with aluminum welded construction, 12 volt and USB power points, a redundant duplex 110 volt outlet, which is hot off of the inverter running off of that Lithionics 320 amp hour battery or 640 amp batteries if we extend that for you. There you'll see the roof access port, which we can tie in any connectivity enhancements such as a cell phone booster or a Wi-Fi booster. Currently being housed inside this cabinet is the homeowner's bag with each of the owner's manuals. Winnebago makes it very simple for people to have a spiral bound digital manual bound inside the van, but then also available online, as well as in the Winnebago app. You can enter the serial number or VIN number for your VIN and have access to all of that, including computer aided design wiring and plumbing diagrams. 
here you'll see throughout the van the ram tough track mount system many different ram tough track mount attachments are available online whether that be a smartphone or a tablet holder to secure that so that you can stream off of content even with one of those connectivity enhancements again 12 volt and usb power points underneath this area here you'll see the sites acrylic window the these windows can be left partially open even during nominal rain, but include the Euro cassette system, which includes the insect protection as well as the blackout for the evening to provide privacy. Very simply opening up and providing great privacy during the evening. Very simple to use as they open up, providing great fresh air ventilation, especially in conjunction with the Max Air Premium vent system that we'll showcase here in a moment. Sliding over all of your gauges in one easy to access location. Upper left, you'll see controls for the powered studio loft bed. It does include keyed access that can be left in all the time, but off of a simple 12 volt motor, the powered gear garage then includes the lift bed, a 49 by 79 inch sleeping surface that we'll showcase here in a moment. Again, at the touch of a button, you can drop that bed down and then it will include a 49 by 79 inch sleeping surface. Very simply glides up to access every square inch of that gear garage to the rear. Returning to the one place panel, as we bring that bed back down, you can see the Ram Tough Track mount, which is at the side of the bed. We'll cover this area in detail here in a moment. Next to that Euro loft switch then, down below you'll see controls for the Timberline hydronic heating system. Similar to an over the road diesel semi, this provides hydronic heating off of a quiet diesel burner operating off the top three quarters of the 24 and a half gallon fuel tank or off of the electrical element. You can also time elapse this so that you're only heating your water during the times in which you're in the van. So just a wonderful hydronic heating and hot water delivery system. With this LED touchscreen panel. Off to the right then you'll see the one place panel, which also includes the 12 volt on demand water pump switch. Again, there's one towards the rear of the van. Wrapping up now with a Timberline hydronic panel. You can see all of the different capabilities within that. Very simple to use, intuitive. Not only does the one place panel allows you to turn on your 12 volt on demand water pump switch, it also provides tank level readouts for the 21 gallon freshwater capacity as well as a battery readout, although most will use the state of charge battery management for voltage, amps, wattage, battery temps, through the battery management system or BMS, also monitoring power state management via Bluetooth connectivity. The BMS battery management system for the Lithionics battery also includes internal heat for protection so you no longer have to use heat wraps. 
Off to the right then, this is the control for the 2000 watt whole coach inverter. So if our, you are using electrical appliances such as the portable induction cooktop, any of the outlets, or the Coleman Mach 10 NDQ high efficiency air conditioning system, you can power those off of the lithium battery system. This is actually where you would turn the inverter on or off. That rotary dial to the rear is actually used to actually turn that inverter converter on so that it does allow you to charge the batteries. This is the solar charge controller from Zamp. This is the solar components to recharging that battery. These are hardwired in, but also include a rotary on or off switch to the left here that you'll see in a minute. A smart controller very simply will provide more voltage to recharge the battery when low and then gradually bring itself into a float or maintenance mode. Here you'll see the master solar disconnect. Again, you'll turn this off when your batteries are off. But a great way to store the van also off of the solar for a trickle charge. Well laid out lighting switch controls for the LED lighting, which is 70% more energy efficient compared to normal incandescent or halogen lighting. This front bench seat system then includes automotive safety belts. You can increase the sleeping capacity in addition to the powered lift bed to the rear with the Luno Cab Air Inflatable option from Winnebago Industries. The Luno Cab Air Bed increases sleeping capacity and utilizes the Mercedes-Benz cab seats. Here you'll see a lagoon style table for the kitchen and galley eating area. It is a removable pedestal table for that dining area. Here you can see the three point safety belt and the second safety belt, as well as additional access here towards the forward portion of the oversized bath in one. Again, using computer aided design, the product development team at Winnebago Industries can increase interior storage while minimizing tolerances in fit and finish which will eliminate rattles compared to competing manufacturers that have to go out and purchase their cabinets from third-party designers. Opening this up on a piano hinge, then you'll see the additional table that we'll showcase here in a moment. This is a countertop extension for the kitchen or galley area but conveniently stored underneath the bench seat. Allowing for that three point safety belt then, this bench seat does not convert into a bed, but there is the Luno cab air bed option from Winnebago Industries, a very comfortable bed that includes its own rechargeable inflatable air pump. You can also power retract or power deflate the bed. Again, taking advantage of computer aided design, allowing storage in the floor of this dinette area. A great remote work option with all of the electrical outlets. Again, powering off of the lithium battery system or when being plugged in. But great storage here in the floor. A nice detailed shot of that honeycomb flooring that provides non-skid access. It's very durable, but also includes that additional thermal break. Of course, all of the water lines are inside the van, including the fresh water tank. This will be your 110 volt and 12 volt breaker panel. Intentionally housed just inside the cargo door so that if there is an issue and you have to trip a breaker or replace a fuse, it'll be within the natural light from the cargo door area. Now we'll slide over and cover the kitchen or galley area. Large inline countertop storage is made possible because the induction cooktop is now a portable induction cooktop, so it can be used outside of the van or inside, but frees up all of this countertop space. Overhead then in the upgraded vinyl padded ceiling, you'll see the Max Air Premium Vent System, which is thermostatically controlled and multi-fan speed all being controlled through a wireless remote control that can be mounted on a wall or placed right next to your bed. 
to keep the van at what temperature you like. It provides a tremendous amount of CFM or air movement. A nice key hook here with the bound by the W wall hook. Continuing on with the aluminum welded cabinetry and the positive lock slam latch system. Additional storage overhead. Recessed LED lighting then underneath this kitchen cabinet along with multi-storage devices including yet again another RAM tough track mount. LED lighting as well as the spice or small goods storage towards the rear of the galley and then again another 12 volt USB power point just to the left. This kitchen and galley area is a full featured kitchen because it does include the three cubic foot compressor driven refrigerator and freezer intentionally mounted at the front of the kitchen or galley area so that you can load and unload groceries from in or outside of the van. A high rise gooseneck style single control kitchen faucet over a stainless steel sink. Then in the drawer underneath is the portable induction cooktop. Conveniently located right inside the cargo door of the van then, a GFI protected outlet as well as the 12 volt powered patio awning as well as a rocker style switch to extend that awning or to turn the lighting on or off. Undercarriage lighting switches and then interior LED lighting switches. Facing towards the front of the van, again this is a three cubic foot compressor driven refrigerator and freezer. You can access this and load your groceries from inside or outside of the van. It includes that travel clasp, but very energy efficient being compressor driven. When at temp, this uses less energy than a 100 watt light bulb. It is compressor driven, so it can be used at higher altitudes and does not require the RV to be level to utilize the refrigerator freezer such as, a, as an absorption style fridge. So again, this is 12 volt. You don't have to run your inverter. It includes the climate control and then again, this travel class. A convenient removable countertop extension slides into this side of the kitchen countertop. To extend even more inline countertop space. Dropping down again, you can see diffusers to allow for coach heat to keep everything warm inside the van. A good rule of thumb is that if you're warm, your water lines are warm as well as your lithium batteries. Here you'll see the true induction portable cooktop very simply plugs into a 110 volt outlet can be used when plugged in or when using the inverter off of the lithium battery system. Induction cookware is much safer because it senses the magnetics in the cookware and actually does not heat up until there is induction cookware atop of it. So much safer for pets or less knowledgeable occupants. And again, the beauty of this is it can be used inside or outside of the Revel. Currently being stored in this drawer, it can be stored anywhere inside the van. But a nice full length extension drawer stack off to the right and a full drawer here underneath. Again, all with the positive lock slam latch style system. There you can see the remote for the Max Air Premium vent system that can be mounted on a wall or very simply just placed anywhere that you wanted to sense the temperature inside the van if you're not using the factory installed option or upgrade of the air conditioning system. You can see the quality hardwood construction from Winnebago Industries and of course all of the drawer stacks are full length extensions with metal drawer glides. Winnebago doesn't trip over pennies and nickels like competing manufacturers that cut these drawers short or continue to use plastic drawer glides. But again, computer-aided design provides great flexibility, a nice pantry with adjustable shelves. They're also lips so that things aren't gonna jump out when you open that as you reach your destination.
Now we're going our way towards the rear of the van. Again, this is the powered lift bed that we talked about earlier. 49 by 79 inches, so just 10 inches shy of a traditional queen bed. It includes the fiberglass cutouts or bump outs that Winnebago adds to the van to provide cross coach sleeping at 79 inches. Continuing with the dual pane sights, acrylic windows then provides great thermal break and insulation to the van. In addition to all of the CNC routed style insulation that Winnebago includes in the van body, 12 volt and USB power points conveniently located towards the headboard of the bed, so to speak. Of course, you can sleep in either direction towards the van. LED lighting continues. And again, the same Euro cassette style shade system providing insect penetration protection, but then also opaque privacy. Another 110 volt outlet so that you can use in conjunction with those Ram Tough Track mounts to stream off of a smartphone or tablet. Overhead then, this is the factory installed upgrade of the Coleman Mach 10 NDQ non-ducted quiet high efficiency air conditioning system that does include a thermostat as well as the Air Excel app for being able to control that temperature via the smartphone app. It is thermostatically controlled and will actually turn off and on as it senses a call, so it is very energy efficient. Be sure to check out our AC runtime experiment in our video library on Litson.com in which we were in a hot muggy day here in Four City and ran the air conditioning system approximately eight to 10 hours depending upon the call. And that was actually off of the older lithium system. This new Lithionics battery is 30% larger than previous years. And again, can be doubled with the additional Lithionics battery that we can install. That does then needs to be housed inside the gear garage. We can custom design that however you'd like that additional battery to be added. It can very simply sit out in the gear garage or we could add a custom battery box for you. But again, that would double the 320 amp hours to 640 amp hours and double the watt hours from 4,133 to 8,266, equivalent to whole coach lithium technology in camper vans that are much larger. So some great capabilities for adding additional lithium technology. Through the UL 1973 certification from Lithionics, which is currently the only lithium battery for the RV industry, which is UL 1973 certified safe. You can see all of the netting for cargo storage, which is included here, as well as the hose for the Nautilus freshwater manifold system. All of the D-rings for the tie down system for the cargo system. And sliding over, this is actually where the Lithionics battery is housed behind that plastic facade. Of course, it includes all the diffusers to keep the batteries warm or cool, depending upon how you're overlanding. Convenient 110 volt outlet then down below. Netting continues on each side for great cargo management. There's also the travel bags, which are in the ceiling, so to speak, of the gear garage for that powered overhead studio loft. Very simple to access. Each of these just do a quarter turn and then you can lift this plastic panel off. And here you'll actually see the 2000 watt whole coach inverter. This allows us to power household appliances directly off of the Lithionics battery system. Within that Lithionics battery includes state of charge battery management, voltage amps, wattage battery temps, the BMS temp, power state management, all through the Bluetooth connectivity amp, the BMS battery management system then includes internal heat for protection. This battery is recharged anytime in motion under the second under the hood alternator. It's charged anytime being plugged in off of the converter of the inverter converter appliance. And finally through the standard rooftop solar which is expandable. Mostly portable because there is limited real estate up on the roof. Just to top the battery, you'll see a momentary on off switch for the battery. You very simply press that down to turn that battery on. The rotary dial is the master turn off for the inverter converter. That was the rotary dial that we saw towards the rear of the van when we were exterior. 
And then again, you can see the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter provides whole coach electrical service, including the Coleman Mach 10 NDQ AC, as well as the induction cooktop. If you do not travel in warmer climates, some will opt to have that air conditioning system system switched out for an additional max air premium vent system it is the same cutout we have done that here with our master certified and factory trained technicians here at litz and rv this is the underside or the ceiling so to speak of the gear garage which is also the underside of the powered studio loft bed with additional netting and then also storage bags So some great storage solutions here in the gear garage of the van. This was new for last year being added with the storage bags mounted and recessed for even more underbed ceiling mounted storage solutions. There you can see the flared body access to extend that sleeping capabilities. Now we'll work our way inside the oversized bath and one. This is an oversized bath and one. It can be used as additional gear storage or as an oversized bath and one. It does include the two sealed marine plywood teak style mats that can be used as additional shelving inside this gear garage, which is heated and also cooled through the vent system. A one-piece pan and a one-piece surround provides for easy maintenance and easy cleaning. This is a 12-volt powered ventilator fan. Inside this oversized bath and one then it also includes the clothing rod, which can be used to dry gear out through the heated components of this gear garage. It is removable. It includes the shower curtain that you can see there. The shower itself then includes hot and cold water and a flexible handheld shower head allows you to start and stop the water both on the head as well as on the faucet to conserve water when RVing off the grid. Each of these shelves are sealed marine plywood and can be used as a teak mat outside of the shower but also serves as some great storage access. A dry dock storage compartment is located towards the driver's side of the oversized bath in one. Then finally, this converts into a 31 by 26 inch shower. Easy to clean this oversized bath in one shower with a one piece pan and a one piece surround. Now, as we remove each of these shelves, which are lightweight in nature, we'll cover the swiveling cassette toilet. Again, this is what provides then the output for the cassette tank that we showcased outside the van, which can be then drained at any national park septic area, holding pit, a traditional septic system, a traditional RV drainage station, or even a standard residential toilet. This eliminates the need for a separate black water holding tank and provides great comfort with a swiveling style toilet. So again, five gallons inside that black tank cassette toilet system. You can also then purchase a second five gallon cassette toilet to expand black tank capacity if you need to. That then brings total gallons for the black tank up to a similar size of a full 24 foot camper van. you can see the travel lock for in motion. And now as we work our way towards the front of the van, you'll see a Winnebago installed standard steel shelf above the Mercedes cab van area. This is a large 21 by 56 inch overhead steel shelf that does include LED lighting underneath. 
currently housing the privacy panels for the windshield and driver and passenger door. You can see the fire alarm, of course, three different alarm systems for the overhead smoke and fire and then towards the rear for the carbon monoxide area. Up front, light duty conveniences such as Article leather seats, both of which rotate to become integral lounge chairs for the Revel. The cab seats feature armrests, adjustable lumbar support, adjustable headrests, and slide swivel and recline. It also includes convenient thigh adjusters for those that have longer legs or longer from the rear towards the knee area and the thigh area. Breathable synthetic leather with the Article leather Up front then you'll see light duty conveniences that you expect in your current travel vehicle including tilt and telescoping steering, keyless entry with passive engine start, convenient when we have to let those glow plugs fire with a Mercedes turbo diesel. On this steering wheel then a new leather wrap steering wheel with controls off to the left then for the adaptive cruise control or as Mercedes refers to it, Distronic Plus. Each of those square buttons simply act as a smartphone touchscreen in the infotainment cluster in the front for the driver information cluster, but then also for the MBUX oversized touchscreen radio. This is reconfigurable inside this color information display. An instrument panel applique is laid over along with the powered door locks, powered windows, and powered mirrors. Controls for automatic headlamp as well as high beam control and fog lamps. The right hand side of those steering wheel columns then control the MBUX infotainment package. This is the larger 10 inch touchscreen which includes wireless charging, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto as well as Sirius XM satellite radio. It includes advanced GPS navigation built in, but again, you can access that through Apple Maps or Google Maps, depending upon if you're using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Hey Siri, Hey Google, and Hey Mercedes technology is also compatible with the MBUX. If you choose not to use the MBUX, there are steering wheel controls as well as hard buttons down below. There you can see the HD radio as well as Sirius XM satellite radio. Multiple user profiles are also configurable. All inlaid the instrument panel applique setup. Of course, you can listen to all of your downloaded music through the media drive on your phone with Bluetooth connectivity or through a USB input. Now as we slide back, we'll leave the MBUX and cover the true automatic climate control in the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system. Multiple cup holders are included and additional 12-volt USB power points, including USB-A and USB-C style. There you can see hill descent mode as well as controls for the on-demand four-wheel drive with low range setup. Additional 12 volt power points then underneath here. There are two battery disconnect switches, one located near the accelerator pedal and then also fuse 32 for the second emergency battery to start the vehicle. We cover all of that during your educational orientation in which we literally spend half a day with our master RVDA certified technicians, showcasing every switch, every feature, showing you what to do, showing you what not to do, we cover maintenance, we cover warranty, all during that award-winning half-day educational orientation with our certified technicians. Here you can see the USB-C charge points as well as the USB 12-volt power point. The middle one is actually the one that controls the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto inside that wireless charging device port. 
additional storage on each side for the driver and the passenger as well as an additional cup holder and complete privacy is included with the privacy panels that you saw in the overhead 21 by 56 inch steel shelf that Winnebago installs. Overhead then you'll see convenient lighting controls as well as the Mercedes SOS emergency call feature. You can turn this off so that when you open the van doors, insects are not attracted to the lighting depending upon where you RV. You can see the sunglass storage and visors on each side for the driver and the passenger. And again, each of these cab seats rotate to become integral lounge chairs. There is a Wi-Fi hotspot included from AT&T for the Mercedes fleet management system, not used by many RVers because the vehicle has to be on to use it. So most will opt for a WeBoost or a WineGuard Connect 2.0 for connectivity on the road. So as we swivel around, we'll cover one last sweeping shot towards the rear of the van as I want to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting Litzen RV and for the opportunity to showcase for you the complete walkthrough video experience for the new 2023 Winnebago Revel, now equipped with 30% more lithium capacity than previous years. It's available here at Litzen RV, America's closest dealer to Winnebago Industries. We're located only one mile north of the Winnebago factory, based right here in Forest City, Iowa, and named by the manufacturer of Winnebago Industries as the single point location volume leader across all of North America consecutively each year since 2015. Also, our team was recently named the number two Class B Camper Van Dealer Award nationwide for sales volume across all manufacturers, even beyond Winnebago and all camper van models, including Winnebago's competitors. The number two camper van dealer for 2021 here in Forest City, while offering only the Winnebago camper van lineup. However, most importantly, be the first to break in and protect your new Mercedes-Benz investment in accordance with the way Mercedes-Benz outlines on page 107 of their owner's manual, in which they recommend protecting the engine during the first thousand miles by not towing, driving at varying road and engine speeds, shifting to the next highest gear at the very latest when the needle reaches the third, last third before the red area in the tachometer, avoiding stress on the vehicle such as driving at full throttle, not shifting manually to a lower gear to brake, and after 1,000 miles, gradually increasing the engine speed and accelerating the vehicle up to speed, be the first to break in and protect that new Mercedes-Benz investment. Sleep that first night in either your powered studio loft bed or with the available Luno cab air bed option and eat that first meal in your factory fresh revel available here at Litson RV. Thank you for visiting Litson RV here in Forest City, Iowa, the home of the Winnebago Motorhome Factory. Here are some great points from our team at Litson RV, unrelated to price, why you should experience the best here at Litson RV. New motorhomes from Litson RV have no delivery miles on them. We do not use delivery services like other dealers in which drivers live in the RV during transportation of, or tow their own personal vehicle during the crucial engine break-in period. There are no additional fees when purchasing an RV in the state of Iowa. You will always pay the tax, title, and license in the state in which you register your RV. However, we do help in assisting titling your RV in your home state. We help people day in and day out from all over the United States and Canada with titling their motorhome. At Litson RV, we have cost savings compared to other RV dealers. This allows us to provide you with low, no hassle pricing. We provide a complimentary thorough walk around of your RV with any RV purchase at the time of delivery. This orientation may be done in person or virtually if you prefer. This orientation is dedicated one-on-one -on -one time with a Litson RV Winnebago product expert and will take as much time as needed so that you can understand every function, switch, maintenance, and warranty items of your RV. Many dealers charge a significant sum to provide this service. 
Here at Litson RV, we want to make your stay with us as comfortable as possible. With our newly expanded campground, we provide our guests the opportunity to stay on our lot while enjoying free access to Wi-Fi, filtered fresh water, and electrical hookups. This is available to guests taking delivery of their new RV or just passing through for a service appointment. We have two state-of-the-art guest lounge areas for your comfort where you can grab a cup of coffee and relax while enjoying your favorite show or use our laptop tables in our comfortable seating areas. And your pets are welcome to join you in the guest lounge and throughout the Litson RV dealership. We work with several different national lenders in order to secure you the most competitive rate and terms. We also offer insurance from several different insurance carriers such as Progressive and Nationwide. Purchase and service your RV and experience the best here at Litson RV, the nation's closest dealer to the Winnebago Motorhome Factory here in Forest City, Iowa. We look forward to providing you best of class experience for your parts, service and sales needs.